This is Alan Bush with the Daily Financial Forecast for Thursday, October 13th. Starting out with the stock index futures, first of all, we did have the minutes from the most recent FOMC meeting released yesterday, which indicated that the Fed appears to be in no real hurry to raise interest rates, uh, although many analysts believe that the Fed will be raising at the December meeting. However, today we are seeing some pressure This linked to Chinese economic data that did come in a bit on the weak side in the form of exports in China that fell 10%. Uh, That was more than the estimate of down 3.3%. So fears about growth in the global economy appears to be one of the main uh, factors influencing the financial markets today. However, we do think that stock index futures that are now at support areas We'll at least uh, see some recovery later this afternoon. Still thinking longer term, the main trend is higher for the major stock index futures. And I think this is a trend that will last through this year and well into next year. Now, moving over to the currencies, the dollar index did advance to a new 11 week high in the overnight trade. But as prospects of a rate increase at the December meeting from the Fed diminished a bit, some profit taking coming into the dollar Uh, So the dollar a little bit lower on the the day now, but longer term still looks like the uh, greenback will advance, especially since the Fed is still the only major central bank that is on course to raise interest rates, but possibly later this year or into next year. On the same token is the dollar coming under some pressure due to interest rate differential expectation changes. European currencies, uh, for the most part, are firming up a bit. Also, the Australian dollar, just a little bit lower, and I'd have to say is holding up very well, even though we did have these weak Chinese uh, export numbers. Uh, So some pressure on the Australian, and we're seeing the Australian dollar losing a a bit of uh, ground to the Canadian dollar. But I think this is an excellent opportunity to come in to buy the Australian dollar and sell the Canadian dollar on a spread basis. We think that the Chinese economy will hold up overall. GDP growth in the third quarter will probably come in at 6.7% in China. Uh, So that is, for the most part, better than most analysts had expected. If you recall earlier this year, there were many calls for the Chinese economy or expectations for the Chinese economy to come under uh, severe pressure, including calls for a hard landing, which we totally disagree with. So look for the Australian dollar to gain on the Canadian dollar longer term. And in the interest rate futures markets, we are seeing higher prices. As we mentioned, uh, global growth concerns uh, coming to the uh, fr- uh, front today as uh, this being a dominant influence on all of the financial markets. So treasuries advancing, especially at the long end. This after just yesterday, we saw the 30-year bonds trading at a five-month low. So any strength in the bonds should be used as a selling opportunity. We continue to believe that inflation, though very limited now globally, will gradually become more and more of a problem, and that will be the dominant influence that takes the 30-year Treasury bond futures lower in the longer term. So once again, any rallies in bonds should be used as a selling opportunity. So good trading, everyone. Once again, remember, these are my opinions alone and are not the opinions of ADMIS or Archer Daniels Midland.